was walking down the road Just the other day I met an Indian boy Passing my way I said, look a here man Why you acting so blue He said, if your best girl had left you You would act this way Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you want to design and build a beautiful website, you can do it all in one place with Squarespace. Let's get to it. Yesterday, I did a search on a tracing paper with an HB pencil. It doesn't say HB, but I feel like it's like a maybe a B or an HB. Now give me this 6B and I'll be ready. I love a 6B pencil. I'm just gonna like darken up these lines so that they become more apparent and confident. Okay, this feels good to start. Didn't even need bubble tea. It's called Superhuman. I don't think I even did an intro to this video, but basically I am doing a piece for the Lunar New Year because the target piece I did last year for the Lunar New Year was one of my favorite pieces of the whole year. So it's kind of like a riff on that. Obviously, Year of the Rabbit. Maybe things will be different. We'll see. It'll be interesting because I think by the last Lunar New Year painting, I had practiced with peach chamber for the first time using gouache. It was like putting it into practice after some time had passed. This year, I would have hopefully gotten better with gouache. I did learn some stuff in peach chopper. First of all, I got my star wet palette, which is gonna make it so much easier to paint. I also learned to like be more loose with it. Also, I feel like I learned how to mix colors a little better, just getting more comfortable with it. It's funny how slow it goes because I feel like I don't exclusively paint. Good to have like a thumbnail because I think thumbnails are better for composition and then you can refer back to it. I do love how straight these ears are though. Do I put them back to straight ears? At least I've started. Thank you for helping me start. All it takes is a bit of eyeliner and tricking yourself. I do not underestimate tricking yourself into things. It works and I'm not too proud to say I'm fine with it. I'm not too proud to say I'm very easily convinced. This is good for me sometimes. <laughs> Do I want to make it as simple as this? It's so cute how simple that is. If I was going to do this, is that composition so much better? I hate when sketches are better than the original. Like this is so much more centered. Wait, do we make it a little bit off center or something? Urgh, I'm going to take a break because I feel like I'm like sending myself to spin. Should I order a bubble tea? Should I order a bubble tea? <laughs> hmm. I'm tired for some reason. Oh, I could read. I've got a book. Maybe I'll do some reading. That might like snap me back into it. I'm reading a book by Jerry Saltz right now. Jerry Saltz is like an art critic. Like he's a really good contemporary art critic. The thing I like about him from everything that I've read, I mean, this is the first book I'm reading of his. I follow him on Instagram. Just seems really like, not all positive vibes, of course, because he's a critic. But it has heart. His critiques have heart. It's not malicious. It's not trying to tear anyone down for the sake of entertainment, I feel. That's what I gather so far. And it's really motivating. He talks about his struggles as like an artist. He worked as an artist for like a, like a decade or something something and he just kind of quit. It's really interesting. He talks about self-doubt and like how it destroyed him and it's relatable and it makes me, it's like a cautionary tale for me because I don't want to let my self-doubt mean that I can't do the things that make me really happy. I was about to double tap to control Z, lol, that's so embarrassing. Hmm, very indecisive today, which is annoying for me because often I'm quite decisive. Do I make this a wide piece as opposed to a square piece? The piece the other year was wide as well, which I liked. Maybe it's nice to cut these, um, make it like really flat, cut those front foreground elements away. Maybe bring it down a little. You know what's so funny? I'm making all these decisions and probably no one cares about them, but they're important to me. To me. I don't like double check that horizon line. I don't think it's even. And then maybe lift it up a little. And then we've got our cloud. Maybe we could have a decorative border again because I did like that. Oh, I do like that. Hmm. Interesting. When your refined sketch becomes less refined, that's annoying, but also like I have some ideas. Like I like this better. I'm gonna take a break now, do some reading, and then um, I'm gonna get back to it after I read. And I'm gonna get some water because it's really hot. Star wet palette. This basically keeps my acrylic wash wet while I'm painting, so I don't have to re 
do it because acrylic wash once it dries you can't reactivate it and it just dries on the palette immediately because i think it just must be australian weather i think obviously it does dry quickly but australian weather makes it way faster and it probably dries within 10 or 15 minutes and after a remix paint this is a lifesaver for me so i'm going to go prep it which just means i have to soak the sponge and put a new piece of paper down i'm going to clear my workspace and then we're going to get started hurrah <laughs> It's not a Christmas beetle. I looked this up because I was like, I've never seen it. Oh, really? What is it? It's a cowboy something or other, I think. Oh, cool. Cowboy beetle. Please don't fall, Mr. Beetle. Ah. Hold on. Bye. I was thinking a purple and pink scene, kind of like. Oh, actually, I'm just going to get the postcards and see which I'll show you. The postcard will tell me. This is actually a really good tool because I feel like this piece show where I really figured out a bunch of different color schemes that I like that are very iconically me now. It's either this or this. <laughs> so we could do a purple scene, which would be interesting. Perhaps not as easy to work with. We could do this, which would make it more similar to the last like Lunar New Year piece, which is good because then they'll have consistency. But they also still have consistency because of like the composition anyway. Or do I do something like this where it's like pink and purple? I'm really drawn to this. It's going to be a difficult gradient because it's so dry today. It's gonna dry really fast, which is not great for me. made a mess so we've taped up my thing because what happens is this opens and it falls into the palette and I don't notice and then it goes everywhere this has happened so many times so it's okay because I think I can paint over the edges once I'm done I mean like I'd like to paint over it now so annoying because like I don't want to start again first of all I'm leaving soon I want to get this painting done before I leave but also it's so annoying when I scan it I'll just have to photoshop it out I might paint over all the paper but we'll see oh so annoying
Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed this painting process, my first painting for the year. If you hadn't guessed, or if I hadn't already mentioned it, this painting was for the Lunar New Year 2023, which is Year of the Rabbit. I'm thinking I should do this every year because I think it's a really fun exercise and a great prompt after a hot full month of prompts a few months prior for Peachtober. Anyway, we're sitting outside in my grandma's garden in Singapore, so I'll have a Singapore vlog very soon. I'm very excited about that, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about this painting. Honestly, just a riff on last year's Lunar New Year piece. There is some symbolism of like the flowers for each season in the corners, which I also included last year, and then also more iconography from my work, including new stuff that's been added since Peachtober. I do wish I kind of went with like the green and orange color palette, which I spoke about when I was choosing the color palette, only because I think it's more visually impactful and more in line with the last piece, but I still like it. I just feel like with the eyes of the rabbit, it is kind of nightmarish. But anyway, I just want to say a big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. As per usual, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your website. I'm actually in Singapore, as I mentioned. I'm all the way in Singapore, but I can still access my website, add to it. I'm adding this piece to my portfolio. I wouldn't be spending time doing it if it wasn't quick and easy and not a nightmare. Squarespace is my favorite platform for building your website and if you don't believe me you'll just have to try it go to squarespace.com slash for a little peach you get a free trial and 10 percent off your first purchase anyway i'll see you guys very soon with a new travel vlog if you guys are in singapore and you have recommendations please tell me like asap because i would love to check them out i know there's a zine fair this weekend and i know natasha aka sad shrimps is having a booth so i'll be definitely going to those things but any other art related things any cool indie underground band uh, not bands <laughs> brands that you guys love any stores you think i'll like any areas you think i should visit let me know okay anyway bye <laughs>